Hi, Grandma Mary here, and I'm here to do a quick tutorial on Hootsuite. Now, I don't know how quick this is going to be because Hootsuite has got a lot of features. Now, besides being just fun to say Hootsuite, I want to tell you what it's all about. Hootsuite is a way to organize some of your social networking, monitoring, and especially your Twitter. But you can also use it to check on your Facebook updates and keep tabs with that. You can update LinkedIn from it, all kinds of other things. So we're gonna dive right in here and talk about some of the fantastic things you can do with Hootsuite. So it's Hootsuite.com, H-O-O-T-S-U-I-T-E, Dot com and you just log in and you start by adding some of your social networks you go down to the settings area to add some of these social networks so um, once you get in here now I've already added the Twitter for for Andrea of all my granddaughter you know and then also I've added Facebook and the Grandma Mary Facebook fan page but you can also add more. So you can add your LinkedIn, for example, and you could add, uh, you know, so you can update LinkedIn from there, see some of the status updates from there. I'm not gonna go into that right now. It's just, it's pretty easy to do. You submit it and then you get another place to, to post to. Um, oh, I guess I did, I did. I don't wanna do that. We're not going there, okay. So once you uh, add your social networks, what are you looking at? I've already set up a whole bunch of columns, but you won't have a lot of columns here put in. Um, what you want to do is say add columns. And what this does is this sorts your users into groups so you can see different things all at the same time. On this page, I've, I've got my home feed here. I've got a group that I created in Hootsuite to call friends. But I don't recommend doing that because I recommend using Twitter lists going forward. They didn't have uh, Twitter lists when I set this up. So you, you want to add use the Twitter list to do this now. Um, any mentions, I can keep track of that. Any direct messages, I can keep track of that. And here's now what I've done with the list tab is I've got the list of people I've met, amazing women, social media pros, and I'm breaking these out into columns so I can keep track of anyone who is who is uh, tweeting out here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just retweet this uh, friend of mine, Karen. Karen's, I'm gonna retweet hers. And I'm gonna, what you do to do that is you select what network you want it to go out on. I'm gonna say that Andrea is gonna retweet Karen. Andrea knows her much better than I do. Um, so I'm going to retweet her on, on my Andrea account here, and you just say send now, and boom, it's done. Now I could also have sent that to my Facebook account or my fan page. I mean, it's real handy to blast it all out at one time. You check these boxes on where you want this information to go, and it's real handy. You can, you can just post to Facebook here if you want. And I've also got a tab here, and you can add all kinds of tabs. You, I've got a tab here for my Facebook news feed here, and also my Facebook page. So I don't have to even go into Facebook and, you know, mess with that. Um, for Facebook pages, I could update from there, and I've got, you know, I can see the responses here that um, people have put if they have a comment. I can d dig into that a little bit and see who's commented on my on my post. So that's handy. It's fantastic. The other thing that F Hootsuite is fantastic for is to keep a tab full of searches that I like to watch. So I have a keyword in here for Facebook. I want to see anyone who's tweeting on face about Facebook in their this person has Facebook in their tweet, so it pops up for me. I also have a handy little a handy little search in here that says how do I and then Facebook. So if I can find out, you know, questions on 
on how do I do something with Facebook and I can reply to them. So, you know, I actually already replied to CT Cyclists, CTC Cyclists. I want to be helpful. That's what you're trying to do with Twitter is be helpful, answer questions, help out. And to add columns on searches, you can just uh, see what kind of keywords you want to track, add a phrase, put it in there, and keep it there. So you're always watching for that keyword or that phrase happening on Twitter. It's a real-time real time research right here tool. You got to use it. It's a handy tool. And what else am I going to show you? I am going to show you a really cool thing that, that Hootsuite has. A couple really cool more things. And one is the stats button. So you can track how effective your tweets are. Now, for example, I haven't been keeping track of this, but I did tweet out a something today. It got one click, so I can see that. But I can also dig down into the individual messages for my accounts, for example, on Grandma Mary. I might want to see if anyone has, has uh, tweet, clicked on this st statistics, and I see I got 10 clicks on there on that day, and the next day I got 12 clicks. Pretty good. Um, not bad. I mean, could be better, always. You know how it goes. But it's good to see how effective your tweets are. You can reword them and see if you're getting better clicks or that kind of thing. So that's handy. One more super handy thing is the send later button. So you can send out your tweets at a later time, you know, space them out a little bit you know, to plug certain things or, or just to be present on Twitter in, in different little spaces of time when you're not going to be there. That's super handy. You could even schedule the post to your Facebook page at a later time. Handy stuff here, people. So I highly recommend Hootsuite. We're not getting super in-depth with this. you got to check out all these, a lot of these little buttons yourself here. But I'm showing you the overview on all kinds of handy ways you can use Hootsuite to organize your followers and your social networks. Hope that helps and talk to you next time.